centuries ago, no one in Ireland could explain the mysterious wisps of light that could sometimes be seen flickering over peat bogs, marshes, and swamps. And so, the legend of Stingy Jack was born. Stingy Jack was a miserable old man who loved to play cruel tricks on people. One day, the devil came to claim his soul. Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him before they left for the underworld. And living up to his name, Stingy Jack refused to pay the bill and convinced the devil to transform into a coin so they could pay for their drinks. But Jack kept the money, placing the coin in his pocket next to a silver cross, which prevented the devil from returning to his original form. Jack eventually released the devil, but only after he promised to stay away from Jack for a year and not to claim his soul if Jack were to die during that time. A year later, the devil returned for Jack's soul, but the stingy miser had another trick up his sleeve and convinced the devil to climb a tree to retrieve some fruit. While he was up in the tree, Jack carved a cross into the bark, preventing the devil from getting down. Stingy Jack eventually let the devil go, but only after he promised to stay away for another ten years and not to lay claim to Jack's soul if he died. Well, not long afterwards, Jack did indeed pass away, but was barred from entering heaven because of the miserable life he'd led. And the devil followed through with his promise not to claim Jack's soul, instead banishing him to the dark of night with only a burning ember from the flames of hell to light his way. According to legend, Jack made a makeshift lantern by placing the ember in a hollowed out turnip Stingy Jack has roamed the earth ever since, his turnip lantern sometimes seen flickering over Irish peat bogs. The ghost was referred to as Jack of the Lantern, later shortened to Jack-o'-lantern. People in Ireland and Scotland began carving frightening faces into turnips or potatoes and placing them in windows to scare away the ghost of Stingy Jack and other evil spirits that might be about. This custom actually dates back to ancient times when the Celts carved turnips to ward off spirits and celebrate the fall harvest. Irish immigrants brought the custom of carving jack-o'-lanterns to North America during the 1800s. It wasn't long though before they discovered that pumpkins, which didn't grow in their native land, were larger and much easier to carve than turnip. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.